presence. King of glory, guide all those people who are going to give out their views and let them be fulfilled into actions that are going to help us to be liberated. Lord, we also remember our comrades who have departed from this life into the next life. Let the cause of their death not remain in vain. Let their spirits be within us. Let them motivate us to build our Uganda. We ask this through the mighty name of God. I will ask the police, I will ask uh, uh, Saeed Siyato to come and uh, give us a quick prayer in Islam, a quick one. The Christians, I guess you will believe that uh, it is done. Aoudou Billah, Shaitman Rahim, Bismillah, Rahman Rahim, Kuruwam Ahad, Allah Hussamad, Lam Yaliti, Waram Yonadi, Waram Yakurao Kufwan, Ahad, Allah Akbar, La Ilaha Illallah, Muhammad Ya Rasulullah. In the name of Allah, God of Mercy, we thank you for our President Robert Chabrani. Ya Allah, we thank you for all our leaders, the Secretary General, the Vice Presidents, the Leader of Opposition, and those, all the comrades who are doing wonderful work back home. We put you, we put all of them in your hands to protect them in this moment as we pursue our destiny as a country Uganda. We thank you. Amen. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Please take your seats. You're most welcome once again. Uh, I wish uh, the Deputy President, the Secretary General, uh, the party spokesperson, and also the leader of the opposition. Uh, the leader of uh, Chicago and our host here, Ellen, I just matched that table uh, with gender balance. Please give them a big hand clap. That is the power of the national unity platform that we respect all gender and we believe in uh, affirmative action. So all the ladies, please raise up your voices and let's do this all together. Without women, uh, the revolution is a hard one. It will succeed, but it will always be very hard. Yeah. Because the women will always push the men to the limits. Uh, unfortunately, in this revolution, even the women sometimes are beyond the limits themselves. And you are characteristic of them, all of you here. Uh, can we give the women a very big applause? To the women, to the women. Viva the women, viva! Thank you very much. We are extremely behind schedule. We are extremely behind schedule, and without much further ado, you will allow me to take this uh, opportunity and singular honor to invite the leader of uh, Chicago, our host. Please give a big hand clap as she comes to the stage to come and welcome you. Um, she has managed to have this dream come true. Uh, very hardworking, uh, Helen. You're most welcome. You will use uh, this table tentatively. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. 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 We all look good. 
Um, thank you for coming and thank you for attending this event. I know we have a lot of activities and um, I appreciate that we are able to attend all of them and this is one of those. Um, I'm just going to uh, give my opening remarks and um, I'd like uh, to take a moment to acknowledge uh, the esteemed individuals who have joined us today in the order of their protocol. Uh, first and foremost, in his absence, uh, the president, I think, is uh, resting after his flight. Um, I extend my highest respects to him. And uh, I'd like to say that we are deeply honored to have him uh, here with us. I'd also like uh, to extend my deepest respect and appreciate uh, our esteemed Deputy President, Mama Lina Zedriga, who leads us to the dedication to our next mission, have been instrumental in driving our project. I love you, Mama. Next, um, I acknowledge our Secretary General, Mr. David Lewis Lubongoya, who is tireless effort. Yes, uh, whose tireless efforts have built a strong foundation for our party. We are proud. Uh, we are proud of you and glad to have you today. I also recognize the leader of opposition, uh, Honorable Joel Senyoni. whose dedication to promoting good governance is invariable. We appreciate your unwavering commitment to our nation's democratic processes. Thank you. To our honorable members of parliament, we appreciate your unwavering commitment to representing our people's interests in the highest legislative body. Our deputy spokesperson, Jeno, I call him Jeno because he fights many wars. Uh, Mr. White from Zimbabwe. Thank you for your dedication to communicating our party's uh, vision. I personally appreciate you, and we are all proud of you. Thank you. And to the Deputy Mayor of uh, Nakawa, Ms. Mutoni, uh, that's the way to uh, our Vice President. <laughs> we appreciate your contribution to local governance, uh, particularly in enhancing local service delivery. Um, I also extend my gratitude to our esteemed Chairman of the Convention, <laughs> Mr. Jojo Godfrey. In his absence, he's taking care of business um, and his entire team for his tireless efforts in organizing this gathering and the entire event. Uh, to our respected religious, religious leaders, I offer my appreciation for your blessings and guidance. Uh, to the representatives of our international partners and friends, we welcome you and thank you for the solidarity. 
to the Diaspora Executive Committee, Dr. Daniel Kauma and your team, and all the chapter leaders, I salute you uh, for your dedication and commitment. Thank you. Uh, with these acknowledgments, I now take the floor to address this convention. Fellow Ugandans, today we stand at the dawn of a new era. We are the power to shape Uganda's future is finally in our hands. An era of hope, of change, and of possibility. As we envision a new Uganda, we do, with, we do so with a knowledge that our country's future is not predetermined, but rather it's ours to share. Therefore, we must come together as one people to build a Uganda that works for all and not just the privileged few. Uh, for too long, our nation has been held back by the status quo, by leaders who claim to power rather than empowering the people, by a system that prioritizes the few over the many. But we say, what do we say? Enough is enough. Enough is enough and no more. Uh, we envision a Uganda where every citizen has access to quality education, health care, and economic opportunities. A Uganda where diversity is celebrated and our differences are bridged. A Uganda where the rule of law is upheld and justice is served. We will not be deterred by the challenges we face. We will not be silenced by who seeks to maintain the status quo. We will work tirelessly with courage and conviction to build a better future for all the Ugandans. Yes. So let us rise up, let us organize, let us demand a better future for ourselves, for our children, and for our country. Thank you. Now, please clap for me because I'm joking.
going to be very brief. Dr. Zedvedia, come to the stage.
we are not taking this three, four days for granted. No. We are not. No. We want to thank each one of you for that generosity, for that resilience that has made it possible for us to come and speak, to come and, and, and rebut, to come and dream, to come and put in place an end to all the breathing in Uganda. And we know it is possible. So, with all that, and with full confidence, I would like to take this opportunity to pronounce that the convention, Chicago New Diaspora Convention 20, the year of our Lord 2024, yes. is officially open. Yes.